Well, last week I said I was going to wrap these buggy seats up, but I didn't get it done. I did make some headway on them, as you're going to see, but I didn't get them completely finished. So I kind of got to eat a little crow on that deal. Um, I just didn't get quite as far as I thought I would. A second topic that I just wanted to address here briefly is a number of you noticed, and maybe all of you have noticed, that I do like using a hoof rasp. A lot of people ask about what is this rasp that I use. It's a red tang rasp. It's a 14 inch rasp and it's a farrier's rasp. And I have linked it in the description, but I've noticed that they are out of stock. And I've checked locally, I've checked different online sites, they are largely out of stock for whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe a lot of you are buying these rasps. They really are a nice rasp. Now this is not a paid promotion. I don't get anything off of this. I just like this rasp. I have tried a number of different brands over the years, uh, different ones, it doesn't really matter which ones they were, but I like the way this Heller brand rasp cleans out on wood. Now it might be different on hooves, but the, the sales promo on this rasp is it is designed for hard hooves. And I understand hard hooves. I used to do my own shoeing when I was working horses. Well, this 14 inch rasp is not readily available. It'll be back sometime. But there's another rasp. It's called the Big Hoof Rasp. And the only difference is that it's 17 inches long instead of 14 inches long. Well, I put a link to this one in the description also. It's the same rasp, it's just three inches longer. They are, anyway, a really nice rasp. Now, some would say I'm not a really, really a woodworker when I use a hoof rasp on wood. You've got to be kidding me. You know, a woodworker use a rasp? Well, this woodworker uses a rasp, whether I'm a real woodworker or not. Now, I have my selection of old antique uh, jack planes and block planes and rabbit planes and I have all those and I do use them on occasion but I have become accustomed to enjoying the use of a rasp. Now when I want a flat surface oftentimes I'll go to a plane but so much of what I do is curves and angles and what all I, I've just for me I've become accustomed to using this rasp so for whatever it's worth like I say this not a paid promotion, it kind of sounds like it, but not intended to be. But that's the rasp I use and kind of the reason why. So anyway, enough of this nonsense. We'll get on into building this seat to as far as I did. And uh, maybe next week we'll start out the new year. We'll wrap this up. Hopefully I don't have to use too much ketchup on crow again. Anyway, we'll get after it. Now any of you that have run a shop for any length of time quickly find out that there's nothing like a scrap pile to sort through. I need some 8 inch by 2 inch leg angle iron and I think if I hunt, a, yep, sure enough, I found a piece that'll work.
Well, you're probably starting to notice that the ironwork for the front seat is going to be a little bit different than the ironwork for the back seat. This will make a little more sense as we go along. Just hang in there. This is all has to do with when this buggy has a top. The ironwork is a little bit different. So anyway, thanks for following along. We'll continue on. Hopefully we'll get this done next week. Once again, thanks for watching.